What's going on guys? Today we are going to create a login form in Java using MySQL database. First of all, you need to have a couple of things installed on your system. That is JDK and then the NetBeans ID and then the WAM server. Uh, that is for the MySQL database. If you don't know how to do all that thing, I already made some video on how to install WAM server and then the how to install JDK and then the NetBeans ID. Have a look at that uh, video. The link is in the description section. So let's do it. First of all, open up uh, NetBeans ID. And then from file, click on new project and then select uh, Java with a and T and then click next and then give your application name. And then click finish. It will take some time to create your project. After finishing, right click over your source package, click on new and then click on JFrame forms. And then uh, you can also give the uh, class name of JFrame or uh, you can leave as it is to give them in page a login form. And then you can close this uh, output here and expand that little bit and drag and drop some controls, uh, swing controls from the palette here. First of all, we did a couple of labels for username and password. And one button also. And then text box and then the password field, text box, password field, text box, and then one check box also to for display and a password and hide password and one level uh, to display our login image. So right click over that image, go to properties and then uh, there you can see icon choose from the icon and then click on import to project and then go to home and then uh, where you save your image select your image and then click finish okay close now here you can see uh, this is a lock image here and Let me arrange uh, this little bit so that it looks nice. Yeah. Right click, edit text. Here, good username. And do the same password. And this button should appear here. Actually, we need two buttons. One is for login and one is for registration. And I will do the next tutorials later about the registration. In these tutorials, we are going to create only login forms. Register, here button, right click, edit text, login, and then the checkbox, here it goes, so password. You can also change the variable, right click, change variable, C S K P A S S, and do the same process here, right click over that. Edit text. And then expand that, right click, change variable. TXT pass and do the same process change variable TXT user and right click edit text remove the text 
how it is your form so that it looks nice. There you go. This is our designing part. Now we have to create a database in MySQL database. There are two ways you can use MySQL database. First one is you can download a MySQL workbench and create database from there. Uh, and the second option is we can uh, download one server. And then from that one server, you can uh, create a database from the local host. I'm going to use the second approach. Uh, you can also use the first approach. I already make one video about how to install MySQL Workbench and MySQL Server. Have a look at that also. But I am going to use one server here. Uh, let's one server. Now open up any browser and go to localhost and from there go to PHP my admin and here the default username is root and the password is empty but I set uh, my password here so click that login and we need to create a, a database here and give the database name and then click create and then uh, we need the two column here and give the table name sapa login click on create and here goes user name and then here goes password and data type is bear care data type is bear care and the length give like 50 50 click on save we need to insert some data so go to insert option there and uh, I enter here admin in admin. It is only for demonstration purpose. You should not use such an easy plain text while you are creating your username and password. Let's go and browse. There you go. We create our database. Now, another thing we need to do is we need to connect our application with the MySQL database. For that, we need a connector. So, search MySQL Java connector and go to first link. And then you have to download uh, select system platform independent and download that zip file. No thanks, just start my download and save that. Now open that, extract that file here, extract all. Now go back to NetBeans IDE, uh, expand that uh, library folder, right click, add jar file folder, and then go to your downloader file, where you download your file, and here, mine is download here, and then MySQL connector, MySQL, and then select that dot jar file, click open, and what we need to do is simply double click that login button. It will automatically create a clicking event of that button and scroll a little bit above. And here we need a, a couple of class here. First of all, connection class, connection con, and then peer statement. and then result set.
and here you can see here is some a uh, warning simply add that or simply here what you can do is import java.sql.all simply do that you don't need to import all now scroll down and here in the clicking image of that button what we need to do is we need to connect our application with the mysql database so for that connection is equal to driver manager driver manager dot get connection and here goes our jdbc that is jdbc colon my mysql and then local host and then our database name that is java login and then here goes uh, the database username that is root default is root and password is empty but i set my password as admin now it is uh, showing here here simply click that and uh, wrap inside try and catch block and here you can uh, display other message also depending upon your requirement now i'm going to do is write on query string query is equal to generally uh, standard sql query are written in uppercase mm -hmm. select all from our table name that is java login where username is equal to what we are going to use a parameter substitution here because of the obvious reason that is sql injection and password is equal to what these are uh, database column name you should not have that confusion here and then uh, we are going to <coughs> use the prepare statement psmt dot psmt is equal to connection dot prepare statement and we pass our query that is select query here and then uh, we are going to pass the replacement parameter substitute value here for that psmt dot our variable name is pstmt 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 dot set string and we get value from pass one is a first value and then we get value as txt txt user dot get text and it is also showing here warning here I'm going to wrap inside try and catch block there and and we need to pass the password also so psmt dot psmt dot set a string and the index position is 2 here and here goes txt txt pass dot get password and it is saying error what is saying can it be converted to a string we need to convert that password to a string so here goes a string dot value of and we are going to pass the value of this there you go now we need to execute our query result set and uh, store that in a result set result set is equal to rs is equal to pstmt dot execute query and then we need to check if there is some result that means if there is result dot next what we are going to do is we are going to display message jefferson pan dot so message dialog 
and here goes null the first element parent element and here message that is login success otherwise else simply copy this with the option pen and paste the thing goes login error simply save that and run your application right click run and there you go this is our login form and type username and password login either if you type into username and password that is saved in your database then you should display login success but uh, we need to implement this so and hide password here so close that application and go to design you can also increase the font size of this text from go to property and you can uh, find your font and like 18 do the same do the same for all controls right click go to property and there you can find font property there you go there you go now we need to implement the show hide password first of all let me run this application again it is not oh it is showing some error it uh, it is showing asterisk not the system password i don't know why uh, let's drag and drop uh, the password field here i don't know why it is uh, showing a stick but it should display a default uh, that black circle wrong and go back and here goes J password field one oops it's two not one right click run and it is still showing asterisk and not that black circle I don't know why but you should display this system black circle now let's implement the show password field here double click that button sorry double click that check box and let's write some code here if csk pass dot is selected if this is selected then what we should do is we should display the password that is j j password field 2 dot set echo character and then we need to convert that to character and 0 and else echo character and we are going to use the unicode here u25 cf and u must be lowercase here 
and it is showing here error and this should be backslash save there right click run file so password there you go uh, i am searching for this there you go now let's try with wrong user element password login user and here goes admin admin so password and click login login success and we will implement this registration form in another tutorials because these tutorials are pretty long now so that's it in this tutorials guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and here I'm going to click this, go to design section and property and change this to 10. Run again. There you go. Thank you once again for watching this video and keep subscribing us because we are going to create a lot of tutorials regarding uh, Java and MySQL and we have a target of 100k this year so help us with that and have a good day bye bye.